Hi guys, welcome to Purpose My Way. I'm Shelly, thanks for stopping by. So I have a couple projects to do today and I wanted to bring you along. So let's get to it. First project today is this cookie tin. I'm gonna take it and transform it into a riser for my candle. I'm going to paint it and put some little feet on it on the bottom and it can still be used for storage as well. So I'm using my Rust-Oleum black, flat black spray paint and giving it a coat all around. And then I'm also going to do the, um, the little bead feet that I'm going to put on the bottom. I'm going to do those in black as well. All right guys, so these are all dry. This tin is dry. So I'm going to start with this project. Uh, first of all, what I did was I took and I had a wider piece of this burlap and I cut it, cut the bottom part off so that it would fit on here around the bottom. So it would still leave a little bit of black around the edge and a little black on the top for the lid. And then I also cut some of this material a little bit smaller than my burlap and I pulled the strings on the edges to give it a little bit of a frayed look. I don't know if you can see that, you can see some of the pieces sticking out there. And what I do is just go like that and just pull them and they usually will go all the way down um, through the bottom. But I did that on both sides and what I wanna do is take my material and put it over the top of my burlap. It's about the same length. I'm gonna to have to do a little bit of trimming, but I wanna put stick this end on. Let's see, we'll put my little finger thing on so that I don't burn my fingers. And I'm doing it right down the middle so you can still see, well, I'm trying to, Still see the burlap on both sides, the top and the bottom. So I'm just sticking it all the way down. Okay, and so it looks like this without the, the glue strings. So you can see this burlap on the top and on the bottom, and then that material's going right down the middle. All right, and then I'm gonna take my tin, and this is still usable. You can still take the top off and store things in there. It's definitely still usable. It's got like little burlap fibers all over it. All right, so I'm going to find, I guess it doesn't really matter, but I'm going to find the back of my tin, put a little glue, and start my burlap around it. You don't have to glue it every inch, but you want it to stay on. So, so my material I had wasn't quite long enough the piece that I had was this wide, and so I just cut another one, the same piece and I, uh, same width, and I glued it to make a longer piece. So I don't know if you can see where I glued that on there. So I just glued them together to make them longer. And these glue things are everywhere. I'm gonna trim that off. And just do the edge so it stays hot, hot, hot. Where's my little finger caught thing? Where is it? <laughs> it's not on. It's not on. All right. So there we go. So that's all the way around. It's just a little primitive decorative tin. All right, and then I've got some twine. Almost forgot the name of it. Pretty bad. And I'm gonna find kind of the front. I'm gonna take a bunch off. I'm gonna go around it a few times, I think. I like to do threes. Everything in threes in decorating. Okay. There, and then I found my back again. So I'm just gonna Cut that off, 
Mm, some more glue. And just work on my strings a little bit. Pull them up. That's twisted. Oops, that one's way down there. Should have pulled it a little bit tighter, maybe. But there. See how that is on there? That looks cute. Pretty cute. And then, so here's my back. So I'll just have that in the back. And then I'm just going to take some more of this twine. And I'm going to make like a, a bow with a few of these. We'll use, we'll use three again. Just making a little bow. And then, like I said, that's the front, the back. So I'm going to do this in the front. And it, this doesn't have to have feet. Um, I just thought it would stand it up a little bit and look kind of cute with feet on it. Um, you know, when I go to Goodwill or any of the thrift stores or even, even when I go to the dump and go to the free store that I call it over there, um, they, there's, people will get rid of their tins. I found all kinds of tins over there. And it's like, there's so many, how, what can I do to recycle these guys? Um, and do something different. Besides buttons. I mean, these are great for buttons. But I don't know if that's gonna stay on there. Feels loose. More glue if it's loose. There we go. Oh, that looks cute. Minus the strings. <laughs> so there we go. So that's, that's the, it's so simple and easy. I did not seal this piece. Um, I would say if you're gonna have it somewhere in a kitchen or something like that, I would definitely wanna seal it. Um, you know, sitting on the counter just in case, cause it's gonna be awful hard to clean it. Um, and I don't know, it, it just is going to get greasy and gooey and you're going to want to wipe it off. And maybe if you seal it, it will be a little bit better. And I use this uh, clear matte Rust-Oleum to seal most of my things. Um, I use the matte finish, but you can use, you know, whatever. They have the glossy and the, you know, the semi I guess is what it's called, but you can use any, you know, whatever you like. I got my four feet for my tin and I started putting them on. So I'm just gluing the bottom, spacing them out a little bit. This is basically a little riser. It's, you know, like, like a wood riser that you'd have, but this is going to be a tin riser with storage. <laughs> I guess that looks pretty good. It's not gonna hold anything too heavy, so um, I'm not gonna worry too much about, I just don't want it to be tippy, which it's not too bad, but that stands up pretty good. It's not too bad. It's pretty cute. But there it is with its little feet. Cute. All right, so I was thinking about the top because it's got it's raised. I don't know if you can tell, probably not, um, but it's got the Royal Dansk. I don't really know if that's the word. And then it's got the cookies uh, kind of raised up on the tin. And so I was thinking, what should I do with that? Should I cut something out to uh, put on there? I could do a piece of burlap. I could do... Um, a uh, piece of this cloth that I have, which I've decided that I don't think I'm gonna cut anything out. I think what I'm gonna do is just the way I have this here, like strings everywhere. So I have this piece of cloth. It's not square, it's not anything, and it's just what I cut my, my little uh, ribbon out of. So I just took it and folded in the corners and laid it on there and then just kind of pulled it out where I wanted to pull it out because I want to be able to see some of the black around the top. I don't want to totally cover it up. 
So basically I'm just gonna tuck in places where I want it tucked in. Nothing fancy, really. It's just, just gonna, just basically gonna sit on top. Now by all means, if you have one of these and you decide you wanna do this, and you want to cut it out, the circle shape, and cut it, do it. Um, I thought of doing that and then taking, mm, I don't have any up here with me, but taking some of the bigger uh, rope, like you get maybe at Dollar Tree um, or wherever, the, the thicker, it looks like twine, but it's the bigger rope, nautical twine maybe, or nautical rope they call it. Um, and you could go around the inside edge to kind of cover up that, um, the edge of your whatever you put on there in case it's not straight you could put it on there I think that would look really cute but I'm just gonna do this and just kind of make a little kind of a little mat but have it stand up a little bit and then I have these pit berries the same colors as you got the the burlap color or the light 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 yellow color and then uh, burgundy and then my very dim light Let's see if I can get that in there straight there we go and that's what I do with my tins I think it came out cute on to project number two I have two rusty looking candle holders and some little bottles that were destined for the trash or recycle bin and I decided to try and do something with them, see what we can do. So I'm using my Rust-Oleum flat black spray paint and I'm spraying them, the candle holders down, all black. I decided I didn't really care for the rusty look on the uh, candle holders, so we're going to go black with these. So these little bottles, we're going to take the, the little green covers off. I'm not going to use these in this project, but I am going to keep them to save them for another time. Now I'm going to use my Rust-Oleum frosted glass, and I'm going to spray them on the outside. Uh, give them a couple coats so that there's a nice um, frosted glass look on them all the way around. These had a um, some measurements on the side etched in, and I'm trying to cover those up a little bit without totally um, blocking them out because I'd like to put lights in them so that you can see through. So uh, this, I think, is going to work well. All right, so as you saw, I spray painted the stars so that they're black instead of, I like the rusty color, but it wasn't, it was definitely, you could tell it was a fake rust. And I really like the real looking, and I just thought I'd go with the black theme. Since I was spraying the tin black, I thought I would just go with these. And, um, and then these little guys, I don't know. I wanted to do something with them. A friend gave them to me. She, where she works, she uses these, and when they empty them, they throw them away um, or recycle them. And she's like, I don't know, I hate to get rid of them if you could do something with them. So I said, well, I will try. So basically what I'm gonna do is take burlap, um, not burlap, I'm gonna take twine, and I'm gonna just go around the top. I'm gonna start some twine here. I'm gonna start it right around the edge. And just go push it down and just keep going around and around basically so we're just kind of covering up those um, those ridges from where the cap twisted on so I'm just trying to kind of get it close together you, I gotta um, every so often you kind of get to pull tight with it and then I'm just crisscrossing it and, and making it so it's not so uniformed. All right, there. So those kind of look like they match and go together with the little twine and everything. 
And then I'm gonna put some lights in them and I think that's gonna light them up really nicely. So let's see what they look like. Thanks for watching my repurposing and trash to treasure projects. Hope you enjoyed it. Thanks for stopping by and we'll see you next time.